the uh, gyros that we use in the model airplanes and in helicopters they're based on these chips, these little chips that are really simple. They have a, uh, a piece of uh, material in there that's vibrating a few thousand times a second and when you move the gyro in the axis that is set up to measure there's a tiny voltage that's created by this material and then the voltage is amplified and filtered and all of that and, and that's, that's how you get a reading out of the gyro and you know the chip itself is like le it's five bucks or less than five bucks it's very inexpensive now the downside is that it's very sensitive to temperature changes but it's, it just has a lot of noise built in into that signal and if you were to look at the raw output from that sensor it is very common to see a drift of 45 degrees over 30 seconds which is which is terrible so so the key to having a, a, a nicely performing gyro is, is all in the software and the downside of that of course is that uh, running a complicated algorithm for filtering it, filtering the the result uh, requires a more powerful processor which costs money so it's all a trade-off um, you know, if you could put a really powerful processor on here, then you could do wonders with the output. But you know, but in reality, you have trade-offs involved. So the key to having good performance out of a gyro is that initial calibration phase. So when you turn it on, you gotta keep it absolutely still because that's that's gonna determine the accuracy of the gyro throughout the rest of the flight. And and even with, with a good gyro and a good calibration. Uh, you're gonna see drift, and that's just the reality of it. Because uh, the, you know the, the the drift on the sensor is so bad that the software can only do so much. And keep in mind that all, all that the sensor is returning is a is a is an angular velocity. You know the, it has no concept of down. It has no concept of absolute position. It's all it's all like a, a velocity or how quickly it's changing, and it's all up to the software to turn that into an absolute position and of course it's doing its best um, so um, you know I, I, I think uh, I think they work really well I mean I think they're amazing uh, for, 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 the, for the, what they cost but you know you gotta work within the limitations and, uh, and make the most of them <laughs>